to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Everyone trusting God for a job. I just saw something now. Please believe. Hmm. You are trusting God for a job. Wherever your job is, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God take you there right now. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Some of you, by this time next week, I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare by this time next week may god surprise you you will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of god in the name of jesus christ hallelujah we are going to pray for the sick shortly i'm hearing a name pious who is pious pious you are pious you are a worker here you're a new security here it's still the same thing all this ministry doesn't whether you're a worker you know most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything only other people get, no this once jesus shows up including me who is speaking everybody you will swim in that river and you receive are we together i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit no the pious i'm seeing is wearing white like me like this this is what you are wearing <laughs> you are surprised <laughs> this is the place of encounter This is the place of surrender. Sir, don't worry, I'll still pray for you. Ah, you are, we love our workers, you are faithful. How could I'm just trying to say that this is what's not the word, you understand? But it means that, listen, whether God gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not. The prophecy of scripture is valid. You can use the prophecy of scripture and prophesy to yourself. And it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you. No matter how accurate what we say is, we still see in part. The word of God, scripture must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word. This becomes your comfort. That even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name and even if there is time we do not have the bible says though i speak with tongues of men and angels though i understand all visions and all of that we're limited but it's for you to believe sir i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir abuja here can i pray for you god is lifting people this is what i'm seeing god is lifting people God is showing me someone, you work in civil defense. It's time for your lifting. This is, this is civil defense. Civil defense. Now, madam, you work in civil defense. I will pray for you, but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense? This is what I'm seeing. This is a lady or not a man. Is there someone like that? Balcony, oh, find out, find out first. Where, where were you sitting? 
Come, come and stand. This is the place of encounter. Hallelujah. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, I declare, and I also pray for you, also civil defense, madam, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will come and stand, both of you. You will stand here before the people of God and you will testify of strange liftings. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Daddy, I don't know why you are standing outside here, but I want to pray for you. We are going to pray for the sick. I'm going to pray for you. Is it husband and wife? Madam, I need to pray because I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. Can I talk to you? Ah, we have to pray. I believe in miracles. God is taking sickness. Sickness. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down, up and down, up and down. This is BP. Two people will start running in the overflow outside. Outside. Now, we may not have time to bring them out outside. I'm seeing the power of God outside, the overflow outside. Just bring them to the front of the projector screen. I want to pray for them because the Lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families. This is what the Lord is showing me. Sir, may my God bless you in the name of Jesus. And for you, sir, may my God, please stand up. You're a worker. What do you want God to do for you? Look at a wise man. You heard what he said? He said, I want to know him more. Is it not relationship that brought this privilege now? Don't you think relationship has other privileges too? The greatest prayer request is relationship. You can have a man's hand, but when you have his heart, you have access to everything. Are we together? And I truly pray that God will help you to know him more. The Holy Ghost that was given to us to help us know the Lord. But in addition to that, the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know why God is visiting the workers. One of you, ushers here, the power of God is coming on you. Eh? you I know you are ushers, you are doing your work, but let God visit you first, then you continue doing what you're doing. I'm seeing the power of God on the ushers now. We're going to, I'm seeing a strong anointing. Sir, there is something the devil put on your throat. Sir, this is what I'm saying. I don't know you, sir. Let, let, let the wife talk. Madam, please talk to us. They say that it's cancer and it's going to operate so that you won't talk again. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I got it. That's, that's something that is untrue. That this is... This is what I'm cancer. saying. I'm, and then there is cancerous. I'm going to operate him and there's no one to talk again. They will operate him and... He, human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband madam or over your wife sir or over your children or over your parents I bow my knees to the God of my covenant and I declare in the name of Jesus 
that thing is destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them destroyed now please stand up let me tell you this you see one of the ways that God helps you to dispense the anointing is he plants compassion in you over the lives of people this is somebody's father and grandfather now he's saying that look doctors are a miracle they are instruments of God's mercy without them we will not even live to even learn the ways of God but look what is happening to this man now we're about to pray for the sick shortly I'm sure there's a reason why the Lord left him here that he came together with our mother here and now they are, I don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now but that he will never be able to speak again sir come again so that is either life or death don't worry madam you are in the right place you are a man of god here please listen to me you see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing it's not enough to say i'm apostle joshua selman i am this our alignment there are destinies tied to our obedience there are destiny tied to our prayer our fasting our diligence the miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to jesus so no matter what level you are in ministry please let this thing plant a genuine hunger all these celebrity things that destroy us push it one side and settle with god carry genuine fire ever increasing fire yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges you will need fresh fire for the season and if you are not ready to stay with god don't ask god to give you members what will you be doing with them it's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time share the grace and go back please don't be offended i'm not i'm just sharing with you a passion i'm looking at this man's situation daddy we're going to pray for you and i believe jesus that he will do a miracle for you i don't know what it is that he has put and then God will heal you of BP because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down can we pray for the sick now in the name of Jesus please no stand up sir God bless you my people have prayed for you you can go back to your seat let's pray for the sick now it's important you see I know that we live in very challenging times and the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people we had the miracle service in zaria um day before yesterday and i was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now i'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here i don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but jesus still heals and right now please listen we have to do it very fast because i know your prayer requests are here by the way if you are here to write it please make sure that you do so quickly but i'm going to minister to the sick right now and when I pray for you, all the overflows outside, following online, maybe some of you are following from hospitals on a sick bed, death sentence, about to go. I want you to believe Jesus. Hallelujah. As soon as I pray for you, listen please, the power of God will come upon you. Already miracles have started happening. Now this is what will happen. As soon as the power of God touches you, and I ask you to check yourself, I want you to run out here please whether they are overflow one two three down to the basement or outside those online you can register your testimony online 
I want you to come out, use either this place. No, 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 you don't have to bring them out. I'm praying for them right from there. So whether you come out from here or here, once you are healed, then you'll bring them out. You don't have to bring the sick out. They'll crowd this place. I'm just going to pray for you. This is just because our father came out and stood here. Are we together? Now lay your hands very quickly, everyone. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. He touched me. The master touched me. And oh, what joy fills my soul. Something happened. And now I know he touched me and gave me home. There will be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. A gentleman and a lady. Now we're ready to pray. Please, I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, the healing anointing is flowing here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every devil behind infirmities. You don't have to bring them out. Right now, miracles are happening. I command those devils to give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Migraine headaches, be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcers be healed in Jesus' name. All kinds of growths and lumps around the body, I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions be healed now. Those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up you're on a crush leave the crush and start walking in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ deaf ears partial deafness complete deafness be healed now blind eyes open now all kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here now i'm praying for you sir in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands to you and then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence in jesus name be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems all kinds of abdominal problems here the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's I think I'm right that thing that makes you to just shake your body shakes in the name of Jesus I declare may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a lady here. You don't have anything cancer, but your hair falls. This, is, this has been a very demonic thing. Right now, the power of God is touching you. Be healed now. Be healed now. Please don't.
don't don't you're punishing this man just keep him somewhere when he's healed he can stand up and come huh the man is trying to stand now don't be embarrassed i want to pray for you you don't have to come out the lord is showing me a woman you are not um what do you call it now you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating now i hope i know what i'm saying praise the lord but this is what is happening in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle for you now i don't know what the medical condition is but in jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of god is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of jesus christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of jesus christ be healed now The Lord is showing me at least eight people. You have to take pills to sleep. You can't lie down normally and sleep. I think there's a medical condition. There's a name for it. You are, you are not able to lie down and sleep. You must take a lot of drugs. One of you, the power of God is coming on you now. That demonic thing, we command it to live your life in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. And then I'm seeing someone until now i think you have a problem with your shoulder i don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as i pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of god has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then i'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now no you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lumps the lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by God I command it to go out now <laughs> hallelujah I'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty i declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now uh, the lord is showing me someone is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there and from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as i'm spraying the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed now three things we're going to do at the same time number one all those check yourself now check yourself you find out there are people that jesus has healed inside outside i want you to run quickly you can come and stand here people are coming celebrate them or you stand here please come check yourself check yourself please make sure you check them there will be people here to ch i spotted dr bukola williams somewhere please you can help 
to just verify the people let's just have people come in god has healed you please come out and stand while that is happening please ushers pr you can help them please pass your prayer request to the last person at the aisle whether left or right and then they lift it up very quickly so that we'll have them together very quickly jesus is healing people koinonia are you celebrating miracles from all the overflows please make your way creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus creator of say Keep coming, keep coming, all the overflow, just allow those who are healed to come. You're the name. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto pray kate kene kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.